Baskawa, this is Tatuberry and welcome to a brand new Top 10 Social Media Countdown. Now, I'm sure you see the look and all kind of things and yes, it is because of Heart Spice. Um, mm -hmm. But I'm going to talk to you about it, you know, in a later segment of the show. So let's get right into it. <coughs> <laughs> Oh, so before I jump into the countdown, I have to apologize because in the last social media countdown, I talked, I said something that I probably shouldn't have said. I said, you know, I might have, you know, made some statement that would suggest that Spice never tell Chensi happy birthday when she actually did. She did comment on Chensi's page in the comment section and said happy birthday. And for that, I am sorry. Number 10, spicy image. So I'm sure you have seen the big social media viral sensation, Spice herself, but tell you, Anytime Spice disappear, it is for a box foot reason. Now, if you didn't follow Spice on Instagram, you'd have known that a couple weeks ago, she deleted every single picture of her Instagram page. Every single sort of whining and broke out with she and Team Spice. Every single promotion, she deleted everything. And she has been laying low for, you know, quite... Um, quite a while and then out of the blue there came this picture on Instagram check it out people pre Yes, the box with Spice is now sporting a brand new image. She left the little melanin, she kicked with that, and she took up a nice Caucasian white woman, real housewives of we want uptown era. LA look now, uh, Spice. But people know if you have dark skin, your melanin. It was only a couple months ago that you were actually talking about how proud you are to be like a black Barbie when they had an interview upon on stage. And um, throughout the year, I've been called by the, co the color of my skin. And I think that's really what pushed me to come out and represent, to let them know that. I love my skin. I love the color that I'm in. I'm proud to be black. And so that's really the inspiration behind my entrance for tonight. Some just kind of confused why all of a sudden you're sporting this like a white Barbie look. But on the caption of the picture, she actually stated, Nothing wrong with a fresh start. Click the link in my bio and pre order my mixtape. It's ready for pre order and all of them something there. Now, Vibes Cartel commented, You know what I mean? I say, a Vibes Cartel, you know, my baby, you're out. Exclamation, exclamation, exclamation. Hard face, hard face, hard face. Oh, lighter. <laughs> that was the worst kind of impression ever. If you want to jump, go back on. Billy Duval, the man is saying, I'm living my best life. I'm living my best life. He commented, What app is this? Somebody commented, She went from spice to Alfredo sauce. <laughs> And then naturally, you're going to have some of the, you know, you know like some of the hater raid type of comments. And this one from underscore Kaleen said, If this is real, I'm disgusted. I've never truly experienced an instance where I'm ashamed to say I'm Jamaican until now. Never really cared about for you like that, so I'm not disappointed on a personal level. But if you ever carry on with this foolishness, kindly put my flag down, please, miss. And if this is a publicity stunt to make sales for your little single or whatever it is, sis, do better. Have a little more faith in yourself and your abilities, no? Lord, you must shame. Oh, that was way harsh. Like, Spice is a, um, a revolutionary in terms of social media. She understands how for brand, especially somebody who is like a protege of Vibes Cartel. No need for no say Vibes Cartel back in the other day. Him did put in braid in my ear. Him did start to wear tight up pants. Him did bleach. Every single day, a different member of the Gaza did I get kicked and I get beat up and all kind of things. Cartel knows how to keep you talking. Remember, now him get Jamaican girls to start going down and all these things. You know, a public and proud eye. And so, Spice took like to learn all of this. And she just say, yo, me need like a gimmicks, me need something now for the propel. And let me just say, if you know me for a long time, you know, say a long time, me I tell people, say, Spice needs to talk about something other than her pum pum. <laughs> spice, every single me and Spice it, shop our name to Spice it, that don't talk about her front. Alright now. And I just want to hear that, huh? Me not no worry. Give me another one. Give me three more. Um, mm, watch there. Yard man. Uh, Yard man. Uh, <laughs> give me a spice. It's song that is not about our vagina. It's not about our vagina. Uh, wow. Yeah. Give me three spice. It's song that is not about our, our vagina. <laughs> she have songs that are not about our vagina, you know, but she never usually give it the same PR treatment, the same promotion, and um, and the same you know oomph and strength as she would give to our skin out songs them like this. <laughs> So you must can imagine how happy I am to see Spice finally doing some excellent marketing with a song that is actually about black hypocrisy. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's for what I think about this whole, you know, um, Spice picture. But basically, I prefer Spice as a dark complexion. Yes, I saw me like it. 
Spice. Um, as some noir, as some, you know, group comes here for how much years. I don't really know if I want Spice to be part of that blog with all type of image. Day. But I know a lot of people, they look up to Spice, especially for being a proud, you know, black sister representing for the females inside a dancer. Now listen, now listen, what am I say, what am I say? Alright, so people, let me know what you thought about the picture when you first saw it. Where were you when you first saw this Spice picture? Um, let me know. Comment down below, burritos. Mm-hmm. Number four, white interview. Me to Anil, so Spice, you know, after posting the picture, she announced to her fans that she was going to go on Insta Instagram Live to talk about everything and explain everything. And that is what she are did. Indeed, she went on and she was covered from head to toe in our little Michael Jackson, Janet Jackson, leather suit, Matrix looking something with a visor on her face. Like the only thing you could see was the little, you know, the change of complexion around here. So everything was covered. And um, she started off the video with this white lady. No, when we first see it, you know, my thing say it's like a little medical um, personnel. We're going to talk about, yo, you know, so this is what I I did when I did the surgery for Spice and it took this long and um but no it was just some lady who basically introduced her. Yeah. Alright, so I have a song called Black Hypocrisy. Where basically, um, as a black woman, I think I'm mostly called black by my own race. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I'm trying to please them. So I'm, 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 I'm going to see what they have to say now that because of them, I've changed my complexion a bit. Mm -hmm. Now, during the live, one of the people commented and I said, no man, my feel said fake. Let me see if it's real. And at one point, one of, the, you know, one of her fans actually asked her to remove her shades. And you know, she kinda did, and you can't tell, say, yeah, man, spice up something that I because. I mean, so she named Vanilla. Mm hmm, a parrot, me a make. Somebody say, can you please remove the shades? Can you remove the shades? Um, sure, I can do that. Mm -hmm. My eyes are red as usual, but I mean, may I take it off soon, and I have a stay tuned. So after she did the interview with the, you know, with the, with the Caucasian woman, she, you know, she went into a different room and she proceeded to tell the viewers them about her all-female band, you know, her, her um, all-female team that she had around her. Hold it! Big up Smurf it and Smurf gang, me soon come chat to no. If you're just joining us, I'm introducing the songs to you live from my mixtape. And the mixtape is called Captured. Oh, and at one point in the into the live, she decided to give the video to um her team spice people them. Wait till them see the woman body, more makeup. Wait till them see me I'm a bad so wait till I'm a silly picture. Wait till they see me I'm a bad so wait till I'm a silly picture. Don't be telling the people them about how, you know, say Spice are really, are really bleach, you bleach. When you know, you and me know say yes, Spice when you did that put on all of the foundation. Because Spice are the same makeup artist may I have. <laughs> I choose to call it black hypocrisy because I'm basically straight up saying to your face that most or some black people are hypocrites. It's mine, you're confusing me. So this song is for you. It's called Black Hypocrisy. Drop it. During the whole of this, like, controversy, Spice put out this video to kind of prove to the fans, say, um, she actually did bleach her skin and it is now, um, cruel. Under fire, meeting under fire. Put your bone, me and him still a push it higher. Under fire, meeting under fire. Under fire, me under fire. Little arm spice. Everybody knows that you can't easily put on little makeup around here, so put on little foundation or whatever to give you that chrome look. Till me black, till me shine, till me look dirty. People that say, how come your tattoo cover up? Because when you bleach your skin, your tattoo, they might still be there, but. I like the effort, I understand his marketing, and he's doing a darn good job. Well, let me know, Burritos, how did you respond when Spice went on live? Number three, viral views. We sent a table. So, after all of this, you know, commotion with Spice online, of course, the whole world got into it and started to talk about, you know, the new look, the new chrome look. And one of the, you know, biggest people, them, you know, internationally, we're going to really mention right now, is Wendy Williams. Wendy Williams. Can you believe the box foot? Spice. Our dancehall official, Queen Spice, was on the Wendy Williams show. Now, this is what Wendy Williams had to say. People shocked over her new look. There's Spice. All right. And now here's Spice. Mm -hmm. 
she talk about the wolf, I say, you know, if I never put it on, bleaching thing, she wouldn't have no spice. Because now we're talking about you spice, I don't even know who you are. But, but good for you. So, I'm glad that she had the little, um, the, the Love and Hip Hop franchise that she could have used to kind of catapult her into the whole mainstream media. Now, when they even went to her to talk about, you know, the, 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 the whole fact that spice is associated with Vibes Cartel. But he does admit to bleaching his skin, yeah. Vibes. He uses cake soap. And that Vibes Cartel is known for bleaching. And on top of that, she went even further in and started to talk about that the fact that Vibes Cartel's son is now a practicing bleacher. Is that something that you can say? Like you're a practicing bleacher? I don't know. Somebody tell me down below. That's some real self-hate, man. She also made the front cover of the star. She was featured on TMZ. She was on YouTube pages like Impressive um, TV as well as Lovely T. I do not know which media host right now Spice but If it was Spice by Ellen tomorrow, I would not be surprised. Let me know, people, what were your reactions when you saw um, the whole viral trend um, of Spice online? And what were your thoughts on when this comments about Spice? Comment below. And now check out the random video of the week. Or something. Yeah. Your mother's so old that her breast milk is powdered. You breastfeed like this. <laughs> well, now it is time for the Big Up segment. <laughs> well, first I have to big up the reggae girls on qualifying for the World Cup. Artist them in a Jamaica so sassy me MUA and she is having a big bad graduation special. Basically, people, you see, if you book her right now, you will all get a box foot discount for graduation day and your graduation picture. Yes, people, nice, nice discount. And I'm gonna give you a little promo now so you can have a little insight to how long you are going to receive. Is going to be done below him and so sassy MUA, where MUA stands for a makeup artist. Yeah, man, that never teach me nowadays, so I learn. And you know, all I need is going to be in the description below, so make sure so you contact her, link her, book her so you can get your discount. And Stella said, Dr. Berry has sent you there. And also, you know, we did the makeup challenge, yeah, she did, yeah, she did kind of fix me up and transform me into looking like one of the baddest girls in the game. <laughs> And also, as she kind of done my little, you know, fresh start spice challenge look right now. Yeah, man, so make up yourself. Go and check her out now, people. Under fire, the thing under fire. You don't know your girl spice and you're watching Dirty Berry social media account. Don't keep it locked now. Spice said that. Number two, spice challenge. My kidney string. So, people, can you believe that since Spice put out our picture and show off our new chrome look, all of a sudden, the whole entire um, Instagram decided to them guys start a challenge. Like, I don't know, but it just seems as if people are constantly looking for something to do to occupy their time when they are online. So, I guess they came up with the Spice Challenge, aka the Fresh Start Challenge. So, the Fresh Start Challenge, if you don't know what it was about, is where people decided to just take a picture of them and kind of use like a Photoshop and transform for themselves look lighter. So, you know, people, you know, basically just like, all right, then move out all the melanin and put something to make them look as close to Caucasian as possible, or close as to a bleacher as possible. At one point, I'll be doing some epic yeah? <laughs> Check out some of the most epic transformations. Instagram page so we can away. Tell me your Instagram page so I can get the seat and repost it as well. <laughs> and now check out the second random video of the week. Yo, spice. spice. Oh yeah, oh yeah. 
Oh yeah, yo, how will you get that pretty brown skin there? Yo, put on me soap and rub out my skin Make sure you catch your elbow, ear and chin Did you dear miss a spot? Don't laugh, don't grin How you come out looking like Bruce Plantin? <laughs> rub it, pan it again, rub it again, but you rub it Number one goes to... My biblioteca um, Spice dropped the video for her single called Black Hypocrisy And I guess people she finally got to free up white things So she did have cake up on her chest for the bunch of years Now in the song she spoke about you know, the hypocrisy that happens in Jamaica She spoke about colorism, she spoke about people You know saying very mean, very negative things to her about her melanin And how difficult it was for her, melanin for herself in the industry Check it out I was told I would reach further If the color of my skin was lighter and I was made to feel inferior. No, the dancer singer she revealed, you know, on her Instagram live, um, that you know she was basically, you know, captured under a VP spot for five years because basically, you know, so she's with them for quite a while now, and then they promised her celebrity, um, you know, her albums out. And so every year, year passed by, and up till this date, in 2018, Spice don't get to release any album with VP records, and I guess the artist feels some type of way about that as well. Me love the way I look, me love me pretty black skin. Now in the video, you can see like, you know, one bag of woman run her, I really a show that women's empowerment, a show that women can unite together and to fight anything that they put their minds to. And uh, um, quite a number of people in Jamaica have been receiving the message well. Some people, you know, kind of still feel the spice actually a bleach. And people like that, me think as kind of, like the people that would believe that alkaline did actually tattoo him eye. Mm. I do not her know if spice will keep this going for like beyond a week. Beyond the, you know, a month, beyond a year. Um, let's just see. I think say as soon as she done do her promo for whatever this entire um captured mixtape is about, she will you know reveal her true self and go back to our our melanin. Um, at the moment, I really feel like no one go back to my melanin. I kind of feel like I just want um stay like this until Christmas finish. What do you say, Berritos? Comment below. Do you think I need to keep my chrome skin like spice for kind of stay in trend? What do you say? I just go to social media, come down like this every week. Are you here for it? If I get like 4,000 likes, I will stay like this. Stay like this until December. Oh, and by the way, the video, when the video came out, the video at some point ended up at number one on the trending list. And at the moment, it actually has over 600,000 views on YouTube. Since you say that I'm too black for you, I please you. Do I look how you want me to? Spice was in the video, it shell, shell, shell. I love the message, I love the imagery. All, um, the only thing I actually think is that this is your lemonade moment because you need to prove yourself now as a different sort of artist. You are, our oh, Spice is what, about 36 now? I mean, no, you know, I've just been known for all the skin out songs then, all of the raunchy songs. And so I really, really appreciate this move to really show a more grown, mature version of Spice, the artist. And this is exactly the way how to do it. This is how you beat and teach the next generation because, wow. Wow, Spice. Mm. Well, that is it, people. Thank you so much for watching another Dutty Berry Top 5 social media countdown. It was all about spicing this one. Yes, man. I hope that you are enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you say give me a thumbs up. Hit the like button. Also, leave a comment. Let me know what was your reaction when you saw the spice picture. Um, if you want to reach out to me on social media, it is at Dutty Berry Show on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, all over. If you want to email me or book me, it is Dutty Berry Show at gmail.com. Just message me. All right. Take care. Until next time. <laughs> I'm white, I'm white, I'm white I'm white, look how me light I'm white because I'm bright Bright I'm white, so white I'm white, I'm white, I'm white, so light I'm white, I'm white, I'm, white, I'm bright Check out all my pants now Check out my pants, it's tight Cause I'm, I'm fat <laughs> And my belly is big Look how me red and white like Santa <laughs> Y'all know, I'm the worst, I'm the worst, I'm the worst freestyle ever in Like, whoa, no, I'm bad, no, I'm bad, I'm bad, I'm bad, I'm flow. I have flow. You actually look nice, I think I did a good job. Really? I thought you were really commending me, but it was just all about the work. So okay. I'm just like some okay. drunk, whoa. Well. Yeah, man, thank you, Shafao. I'm white, I'm white, I'm white. Check all my fans, it's tight. I'm white. Yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. Cause it's a trailer, trailer night, and all this is a trailer. It's just a trailer, trailer night. Wait on what's going to stop me? Get it, get it, get out! Woo! Give me a street jeans and fit. You know I can't stop breathing. Oh! Oh no, no, no! See us over the street, the street, the court one.
Cranberry. All right.